If you want to hold your breath for longer while swimming, there is no other way but to practice in the pool while you're swimming. Before we begin, I would like to warn you about the dangers of this practice. Shallow water blackout is an underwater faint due to a lack of oxygen to the brain brought on by holding your breath for long periods of time. Without immediate rescue, the swimmer quickly drowns. Shallow water blackout occurs without any warning. In fact, because of hypoxia and detached mental state, one can feel euphoric and empowered to continue breath holding. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the description. They recommend the following tips to prevent shallow water blackout. Never hyperventilate. Never ignore the urge to breathe. Never swim alone. Never play breath holding games. Personally, I have done swimming sessions that have pushed the limits of my body in regards to holding my breath. At that point, you start losing control of your body and you purposefully ignore the urge to breathe. This video is not intended to encourage that. You should try the next exercises not ignoring the urge to breathe and always with a trained lifeguard present. This is a fun exercise. We did four 50s. The first one we did with four breaths total in the 50. The next one three, then two and the last one just one. Depending on your ability, you can do this four, three, two, one or with more breaths, like say seven, six, five, four. The key here is to time your breaths strategically. For example, on this 50, my brother does three breaths. Since he just took a breath before leaving, he goes almost to the flags at the other end to take his first breath. Before the turn, you will naturally feel the urge to breathe. So it is good to have fresh air before doing it. Now he has two breaths left for the last 25. He takes them relatively early, knowing that he will breathe right after he touches the wall. For the 50, with only two breaths, it's a little bit more challenging. Notice the long streamline. It is easy speed without wasting oxygen in the blood for moving your muscles. Again, the first breath is before the turn. Now, there's only one breath for the next 25. I took it in the middle because I felt the urge to breathe. I knew that as soon as I finished, I would breathe again. My brother does the last 50 with only one breath. He has a lot of oxygen stored at first because he was breathing normally right before. So he goes the whole 25 without breathing. After the turn, he could take the breath whenever he wants. He chooses to go up to the middle because he was probably feeling good. It is good to take only one breath in the 50 free during competition to not waste time breathing at full speed. The next exercise is for 25s. I took two breaths for each 25. The interesting part though is to control your breathing during the rest. I rested for only three breaths. After the third breath, I went on to do the next 25 with only two breaths. If you're not there yet, you can try a variation of this with more breaths. Something like four breaths for each 25 and five or six breaths while resting. These exercises will train you to feel more comfortable with the urge to breathe. While this is good for training, it can also be dangerous for your health. Shallow water blackout is most common among physically fit swimmers, spear fishermen and free divers. Let me know in the comments below if there is anything else you would like me to explain or make a tutorial about. See you next time, be careful and swim fast!